Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be making a wonderful fall dish, which is a vegan portobello and pecan wellington. Start by taking six or seven portobello caps and lightly oiling them and placing them on a sheet pan. Make sure you oil both sides so they don't dry out while they're cooking. Then you're going to roast these for about 15 or 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven. Now that our mushrooms are in the oven and they're cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make the filling for the Wellington. So we're going to start by adding one shallot that's already been sliced to our food processor and um, a few cloves of garlic. I believe this is about four cloves that we have here. And we are going to process those. Once we're done processing them, we're gonna take a little spatula and we're going to scrape down the sides, get it all down there. And then we're going to add our pecans and our herbs, and we're going to process these all together. So I have one tablespoon of rosemary here, and then I have two tablespoons of sage. I'm just adding all of that together. And for a little seasoning, we have one teaspoon of paprika. We're going to add salt and pepper to taste once we're all done pureeing all of this together. Okay, that looks great. As you can see, it kind of sticks together a little bit and we want that because you don't want it to start crumbling out of the center of the Wellington when you slice it. Okay, now that we've finished our filling, our mushrooms are out of the oven and I just wanted to kind of show you guys how they look before we proceed building the Wellington. You can see they're nice and juicy and well cooked on both sides. They're all different sizes because portobello mushroom caps um, vary tremendously in size, but this is perfect. This is just enough for us to work with. Okay, now we're going to um, actually make the Wellington. So I'm gonna flour my surface because I'm gonna roll out my puff pastry dough just a little bit. So I have one sheet of uh, vegan puff pastry dough and I've defrosted it overnight in the, um, in the refrigerator. So we're going to lay down three of the cooked portobello caps, okay? Just like that. And then we're going to top it with um, the pecan sage filling. Now I'm gonna kind of compress this with my hands because you don't want it super loose inside the Wellington. And in order to have a nice, um, nicely shaped filling, you want to use all of this sage and pecan mixture. You want it to have kind of squarish edges, if possible. Okay, that looks really nice. Now we're gonna do another layer of mushrooms on top. just like that. Then we're gonna take the edges of the puff pastry and we're going to fold them over. Actually, I think I can trim a little bit of that off. It's a little bit bigger than it needs to be. I don't wanna have too much puff pastry overlapping. You want to kind of create a center seam. Then we're going to pinch it together there. The 
this is actually going to be our bottom. Okay. Now, for the ends, for the ends, we're just gonna kind of pinch that together. like this you want to try to get the air out if possible and then we can also trim this just a tad I'm gonna just fold it and then I'm gonna fold it under okay and we're gonna do the same thing here I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of that puff pastry in and then fold it under. And the final step before baking it is to just brush a little bit of olive oil over the um, over the pastry shell. The purpose of this is to help it brown. It'll just make it nice and pretty and golden. After baking for 35 to 40 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, you can see it's cooked all the way through and is perfectly browned and flaky on the outside. Serve with mashed sweet potatoes, sauteed garlicky kale, and a little pat of vegan butter. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.